Hey everybody, it's the Classroom Guru here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Files folder. Okay, so in each class that you have or have created, you will get a Files area, which is essentially a OneDrive. So each class you teach will have its own OneDrive. Uh, and to get to it, first make sure you've clicked on a class. Then you'll see Files listed at the navigation at the top here. So we're going to click into files. You'll notice this opens in another tab. And so what you're seeing here is essentially a OneDrive that stores all of the documents relevant to your class. And what you'll see in here is an assignments folder. This contains all of the resources and documents related to the assignments that you've created in your course. So let's click in here and take a look. So what you'll see is there's a folder for each and every assignment that I've created. And I can click into one of these folders. And what I will find here is every single document that my students have turned in for this assignment. So this is another way for you to get to those files that have been turned in. Now let's back up. We'll go back to Documents, which is the top file folder. And now we're, you're going to notice a file here that's not inside the assignments folder. That's because this is a file that I just created because I wanted to make it available as a resource for my students. In fact, this was a template I created, which I then used as part of an assignment. And I copied this template to all the students. And you can do this by simply going up here. You can click on new and you can start a new document that would live in this class OneDrive. You can also upload documents by going to the upload menu here. Now, know that if you create a new document or upload something, your students are going to be able to view this uh, file. So they'll be able to drill into files here and open up this document, but know that they cannot edit it. They can only view the document. So the default settings of this OneDrive for you is edit, but for your students is read only. Another thing with um, the students as they go in is um, when they go in and do assignments, they're only going to see their own documents that they turned in. They're not going to see the documents of all their classmates. So let's quickly flip over to the student view. And we're going to click into files. And we're seeing kind of the similar thing. We see the file called history of the PC. And then we see the assignments folder. So as this student, I can click into assignments. And then I can click into a specific assignment folder. And I'm going to find the specific document that I turned in. Now, there's another interesting piece of this, which is that whenever a student turns in a file, it lands here and it's accessible to the student. But also, what's nice is the student gets a copy of this file in their own personal OneDrive. So watch this. Let's go to the app switcher over here and let's go into the OneDrive of the student. And so interestingly, there's a folder called Classroom. This is a folder that stores contents from my classes in Microsoft Classroom. So I'm going to click into this. And here is a folder which is the name of the class that I'm in. So we're going to click into Exploring Technology. And here we go. Now we see folders of various assignments. So these are assignments that I have turned in already. So here's that History of the PC assignment. I can click on that, and there is my document. Uh, exact copy that's stored now on my own OneDrive. And this is nice because this way your students, this is automatically populating their digital portfolio in their own OneDrive. So really nice feature in Microsoft Classroom is this ability to have this file section that stores all the documents for your class, but also the assignments are such that the files get copied to the student's own OneDrive. So really fabulous, fabulous feature. Alrighty, so that's it. Classroom Guru signing off.
Hey everybody, it's the Classroom Guru here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Files folder. Okay, so in each class that you have or have created,